we want to find all the values of x such that the given series would converge, which is called the interval of convergence for the power series. To do this, we'll apply the ratio test given here, where we know this limit must be less than one for the series to converge. This will give us an open interval of convergence, and then from there, we'll test the two endpoints to determine if the series converges or diverges at the endpoints. So notice that a sub n would be equal to negative one to the power of n times x to the power of n divided by a to the power of n times the quantity n squared plus nine. And therefore a sub n plus one would be equal to negative one to the power of n plus one times x to the power of n plus one divided by a to the power of n plus one times, here we'd have the quantity n plus one squared plus nine. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. We would have n squared plus two n plus one plus nine, or n squared plus two n plus ten. So the next step, we'll show it in this form here. So now we'll take the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus one divided by a sub n, but instead of dividing here, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So first we have a sub n plus one, and then times the reciprocal of a sub n, so we'd have eight to the nth times the quantity n squared plus nine divided by negative one to the nth, x to the nth. Now let's simplify. Notice how we have n plus one factors of x in the numerator and only n factors of x in the denominator. So this simplifies the one. We have one remaining factor of x in the numerator. Same thing for the base of negative one. We have n factors of negative one here and plus one factors of negative one here. This simplifies to one. This simplifies to one factor of negative one. And then for base eight, we have n factors of eight here n plus one factors of eight here. This simplifies to one. This simplifies to one factor of eight. So now we have the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of, this would be negative x times the quantity n squared plus nine. And the denominator would be eight times the quantity n squared plus two n plus ten. And looking at this limit here, notice how in terms of n, we have degree two numerator and the degree two denominator. And because the degrees are the same, as n approaches infinity, this limit approaches the ratio of leading coefficients. So this limit is equal to the absolute value of negative x over eight. In order for this series to converge, this limit must be less than one so if we solve this absolute value inequality, we can determine the open interval of convergence. So we can think of this as negative one-eighth x, and the absolute value of negative one-eighth is positive one-eighth, so we can write this as one-eighth times the absolute value of x less than one, multiply both sides by eight, absolute value of x is less than eight, and therefore x is less than eight and also has to be greater than negative eight, which means the open interval of convergence would be from negative eight to positive eight. Notice how this interval is centered at zero, which is also where the infinite series is centered, since we have x here, not x minus a constant c. But we still have to test the endpoints for convergence or divergence. Let's do this on the next slide. So notice when x equals negative eight, we would have the summation from n equals one to infinity of negative one to the nth times negative eight to the nth divided by eight to the nth times the quantity n squared plus nine. Well, negative one to the nth times negative eight to the nth, these would always have the same sign so we can write this as negative one times negative eight to the nth, 
or just a to the nth. So we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of a to the nth divided by a to the nth times the quantity n squared plus nine. And notice how this simplifies as well. This simplifies to one. So now we have the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n squared plus nine. Notice how this does resemble a p-series, where p would be equal to two. Well, it's not listed here, but if we did the direct comparison test and compared this to the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n squared, which we know converges, notice how these terms would have smaller denominators, and therefore the terms of this series would be smaller than the terms of this converging series, and therefore by the direct comparison test, this series converges. So we'll say since one divided by the quantity n squared plus nine is less than or equal to one divided by n squared by the direct comparison test, the series converges at x equals negative eight. And now we'll test that x equals eight so that would give us the summation from n equals one to infinity of negative one to the nth times eight to the nth divided by eight to the nth times n squared plus nine. Notice how this simplifies to one. So we have the alternating series of negative one to the nth divided by the quantity n squared plus nine. We'll notice how this series is the absolute value of this series, and therefore if this converges, this will also converge, or we could apply the alternating series test, where again a sub n would be equal to one divided by n squared plus nine, which is greater than zero. The limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n does equal zero, and a sub n plus one is less than or equal to a sub n, because as n increases, these terms get smaller and smaller. So we'll say by the alternating series test, the series converges at x equals eight. So because the series converges at both endpoints, the interval of convergence is not this open interval, it would be the closed interval from negative eight to positive eight. So the interval of convergence includes both endpoints. So looking at the homework question, we would say the series is convergent from x equals negative eight, and it does include the left endpoint, so we say yes, two x equals positive eight, and it does include the right endpoint, so we say yes for the right endpoint. I hope you found this helpful.